Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to repair this uh, micro cassette recorder from Sony. This is one of the smallest models I have in my collection. This is the micro cassette recorder M88. It needs a belt, I believe, because uh, when trying it with batteries, you can hear the motor spinning, but there is no movement. So let's just get into it. I have kept this, these belts in here because I have I had the suspicion that this micro cassette recorder would uh, would need a small belt. Uh, but finally, uh, as you will see in the video, uh, it will need a uh, uh, much larger belt than I thought. I think it was around this size. So, let's just get into it. Uh, basically, we need to take this back side off. So, and lastly, So I think that's gonna be it. So next we're gonna have to undo these screws. There's one here, there's one there. We're also gonna have to undo this, uh, this black tape to allow us a little bit of space to free up the, uh, the circuit board. Well, I believe that's about it. You kind of need to feed these uh, these wires through this uh, this cutout that's that was made in this uh, PCB board. So that's about it for the uh, PCB. So first of all, we need to clean the, the old belt of this flywheel and the, the motor itself. scraping it off with with the tweezers trying to keep it in one piece as you know as long as possible that kind of saves you uh, cleaning all the little bits after that but even this way it's still leaving it's still leaving some some residue behind so a lot of old belts right there now let's start cleaning And as you can see, that's where the rest of the belt is, which I didn't see earlier until I saw the stain on my finger. So, Alright, now let's get on with the motor pulley, which is gonna be a little bit harder than the uh, than the other one, just because of the uh, lack of access. But we're gonna clean it somehow. Wow, look at that, kind of petroleum looking.
I am kind of move, moving the motor all over the place, but when I'm done cleaning it, I'm gonna return it to place, of course, make sure that it's sitting properly. You kind of need to keep your hands clean while dealing with this because otherwise you're gonna stain whatever else you, you touch. Alright, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, put some batteries in, uh, turn it on so that the motor is gonna be spinning, that way I'm gonna try to shove a little bit of this cotton bud into it uh, and clean the, 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 the rest of the, the poly as, as good as I can. So. What was the orientation? Have it this way. So that's gonna go like this. Okay, so we have spin. Alright, it's good enough, I guess. So, I'm just gonna clean the belt just a little bit to make sure that there's no grease or anything. And this is basically very straightforward. And I think this is a little bit too long. So, we're gonna need a smaller one and I think one of these is gonna be perfect maybe let's just try it I think that's a little bit, just a small tiny bit uh, tight. Let's compare, it, let's compare it with this one. Alright, so I think that works. So first of all, let's try it with the with the cassette, micro cassette, and let's see if there's any sound. Okay, so I'm not sure if uh, it works or if there's any sound on the tape. So let's just assemble it back and let's test it afterward. Okay, 
Okay, so now that everything is in place, we're just gonna need to put back these screws, which are the same length, so it doesn't really matter where they go. Test, test, one, two, three. This is a test. This is the end of the test. Now oh, sadly there is no sound, which turns out to be the same problem as with the other one. But we're gonna try it with headphones and we're gonna see if there's any, any signal. Uh, so basically as you can see there is a lot more going on with this uh, recorder than than the eye than meets the eye uh, so apparently there's a fault uh, I think maybe uh, uh, in the headphone jack itself or something under it but that's gonna be for another video uh, what I found out basically is that when I uh, short these two terminals or these two like this which are basically connected to the uh, headphone jack output uh, the speaker on the device itself works uh, apart from that what I've also discovered is uh, the headphones do not work normally but when they are inserted inserted just halfway like this the one of them the left one uh, or the right one uh, whichever way you put your headphones on uh, one of them will work and the other you can hear some scratches and some noise on the other one but inserted all the way like this it will not work so that's gonna be it for this one uh, I'm gonna try to see what's going on with this one uh, but that's gonna be for a later video and for now I'm just gonna assemble it back up So that's gonna be it for this one. I know it's kind of a failed repair, but uh, it's not done yet. So we're gonna tackle this one in a, in a later time. Uh, we've got some leads as to what to do next time. So we're gonna try to follow those. And until next time, hope to see you again. Bye.